a folk music composition and cue or heritage of the nations. The sounds of the great steppe are different instruments and melodious compositions. The great and mysterious music is on the program, the sounds of the great steppe. Music is a great form of art. Kazakh people have the cool kobuz instrument. The sounds of this instrument touch deeply the listener's heart. Our nation highly respected the kobuz player as it's a sacred ancient instrument. It is not possible for any musician to play on it. Probably the secret belongs only to this heritage instrument. Therefore, there are few kobuz players. Sayan Akmolda is a professional musician. He was taught and received knowledge by Step Kobuz players. Today in our program, he will play Yiklas Duken Uli's key compositions. Bu Kobuz'un hasiyeti var, ras. Kobuz degen bu konatın Kobu's instrument has its own singularity, thus musicians should be born with talent of playing on the kobuz. There is a saying as, kobuz is an ancient and sacred instrument, as a musician should have talent to play on it. I have taken kobuz to my hand with its own reason. I was born in the Jambo region in the Sarisu district. Today our program is dedicated to Yiklas musician. Yiklas was from my homeland and died in the Sarisu district. All famous Kazakh kobuz players were from this region. Nishan Sage left one kobuz instrument to the academic drama theater named after Mukhtar Oezov. I took a part in the documentary film Kayu Shu. I brought kobuz home and tried to put horsehair strings on it. Usually the kobuz instrument appears in a dream of the kobuz player and can tell the musician, you will give a sound to this instrument and will play on it. Otherwise, it is difficult even to hold it. The kobuz has its own holder and protector. That's why each of us should respect all the instruments. There are founded other instruments that belonged in ancient times to shamans. I saw an ancient kobuz instrument that was 100 years, which was brought from Turkestan. I was offered to put strings on it. I refused their offer. Consequently, each instrument has its own holder and protector. Thank you. 
ең алғашқы шығарған туындысы ол жаңағы ерден күйі бұл Yerden is a first key composition of Yiklas. He wrote it when he was 18 years old. There lived Yerden Sandi by Uli ahead of the Akmola district. One day his son, Bimindia, died. All musicians, singers, cue players, shamans of the Arka region came to the funeral and played cue compositions for Yerden about his sorrow. They could not play. Only Yiklas showed his talent and played very well on the kobuz. The Yerdin Kiyu composition, during his play, a sorrow was as my precious, my son. Yerdian, who did not eat for several days and stayed in his bed, stood up. After Yiklas's key composition, as a sign of respect, he gave to the musician a horse and chapan, or coat, and a herd of horses. Since that moment in the history, this key composition was titled as Yerdian. <laughs> Yiklas is a composer who wrote key compositions and included different themes. They're about heroes of epic poems. He wrote magnificent epos, key composition as Kambar Hero, Mournful Sorrow, and for Yerdin, left key composition. He wrote other compositions about the birds of the steppe and animals. A musician dedicated to the warriors, a lot of cues. They are Kazan Khorigi, Kazan Surgisi, and also he wrote for Tailak warrior composition, Sad and Sorrowful Q. <laughs> Yiklas Dukin Uli was born in 1846 in the Karaganda region, Jean Arka district. All his seven ancestors played on the kobuz instrument. His father, Dukin, was a great kobuz player. He made the first kobuz instrument for his son, Yiklas. Later, Yiklas mastered this art. Yiklas Kyu composition is continuing the legendary kobuz player, Korkut.
Kazan gibi bu akıllaspavamızdın, buna kim bildiğin gün çağında. Kiyu composition Kazan was written by Eklas with his deep thoughts. This Kiyu composition is titled as Kazan Jorigi or Kazan Surgisi. Owing to great Kobuz player Daulet Muhtibayev, it was delivered to us. There was a time when invasion enemies started to destroy the city of Kazan. A Kazakh warrior, Shora, went to the Kazan city to release it from the enemy. He liberated the city from the enemy and protected the Kazan city. It was finished very successfully. When he was on his way back home near the hillside of the Oral Mountains, there was a very strong frost and storm. Shora Hiro and his warriors died under the storm. Accordingly, the Kiyu composition was titled Kazan Jorigi or Kazan Surgisi. Europeans have high interest to the Kobuz instrument. They do not leave the concert or sit and take the interview. When they put a light on the player, the concert starts in this way. A player sits on the carpet and can be offered a pillow, and he will be able to play the Kobuz instrument. Constantly, German and French people are close to the Kobuz. I have been abroad and visited different countries. I made acquaintance with Mongolian people. They have a similar instrument as our Kobuz and was made from horsehair. The shape is different from ours. 
They keep their customs and have interest to the kolbuz instrument. Sometimes we forgot to invite the kolbuz player to the concert. First of all, Mongolians invited to the concert a kolbuz player musician. German people said the sounds of kobuz are unique and make magical the listener's heart. Also touches the heart, the strings of every listener. We take a pleasure by listening to the sounds of the kobuz. The sounds of kobuz give the right thoughts, wisdom for people who were lost in the wrong ways. We ask them through the translator. They listen to the sound of kobuz with a high respect. A Kazakh Kyiv art and Kobuz Kyiv compositions are eternal. The compositions were not kept as Dombra compositions. Obviously, the sounds are different. The sounds which come through the Kul Kobuz instrument as the sounds of the Great Steppe. It seems as the Kobuz Kyiv compositions are describing a life between the blue sky and earth. Constantly it shows that the sound of the kobuz is eternal music. <laughs>